All right, so talking about quadratic functions and quadratic functions form parabolas on um, coordinate planes when you graph them. So I want to show you how to recognize a parabola when you see it and then look at a table of values that represents a function and find out if that will form a parabola. So if, you know, to find out if it's a quadratic function. So first, let's just look at a parabola and notice some features, and then um, use that to to be able to eyeball. Um, first of all, when you see a shape on a graph, is it a parabola or not? Um, so here, the, here's a parabola, and some things I want you to notice about it is that it has a curve like that. It's not a straight line. Uh, it'll be a curve like that, or maybe it'll be flipped the other way. That's fine but one, one curve. Um, the ends of it go off into infinity and they both go in the same direction. So I don't have one arm going up this way and one arm going down that way. Okay, they're both, you know, in this case going up, in this case going down. Um, there's an axis of symmetry here, which means if I um, take this side of the parabola and flip it over, uh, across this axis of symmetry, it'll actually line up perfectly. And let me see if I—I uh, I don't know if I can actually do that. Let's see. Uh, this one I can because these are actually two different, two different parts. I could flip this one, um, and then line it up perfectly with the other side. So there's a invisible axis of of symmetry here, and I flipped that other half of it over it, and the two line up. So. Um, so, in other words, you know, if this line is going up like this, but this line is like going really wide like this, and, and it doesn't have that nice symmetry, then it's uh, not a parabola. Okay, and there's a lowest point or a highest point, depending on which way the graph is going. Um, I could flip this, you know, in this case it would be the highest point. Um, and that's called the the vertex. So the the axis of symmetry goes straight through that vertex. Um, in your mind, in your imagination, you know these lines, this axis of symmetry won't actually show up on the graph. This point won't be this giant, you know, yellow blob like that. But I'm pointing out um, some just basic features of the parabola. So that's how to recognize one. So well, let's test that. Um, is this a parabola? Well, um, no. Um, both both ends need to be going the same direction. You know, we've got one arm going this way, one arm go going that way. Um, there isn't this nice axis of symmetry. If I flip, let me see if I can grab this. If I flip this side across it, a line, you know, it doesn't line up perfectly uh, uh, with the other side. Um, and there isn't a vertex. There isn't a highest. Uh, well. Right. Let me say there isn't a highest or lowest point here. Um, the graph goes to positive infinity and negative infinity. There is no, you know, there is no highest or lowest point. So, is this a parabola? No. Sorry. It's a cool shape, but it's not a parabola. Okay. So that's how to recognize a parabola on the graph. Um, now, how do we take a table of values representing a function and determine if that is a parabola, if that'll form a parabola if we, if we graph it. Well, one way, if you've got a table of values like this, that's nice where the the input variable, the x's, um, usually go one, two, three, four, and they go in order like this, and they're nice whole numbers, and um, they're positive numbers. Um, w then you have your output uh, values. You can do a nice little trick here where you find the differences in the out output variable. So the difference of 4 and 1 is 3. Oh, man. That looked like a squash bug. The difference is 3, not squash bug. Um, the difference of 9 and 4 is 5. The difference 9 and 6 is 7. Then you can take the differences of the differences. The difference of... Um, between 5 and 3 is 2, and between 5 and 7 is 2. And if, if these second differences are all the same, you've got a 2, 2, 2, 2, 
um, then you know this is a quadratic function. It'll form a parabola. That's a nice little trick. But if your table is not so nice like that, where it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, you know, something like that, or 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, something like that, um, that's not going to work for you. So don't, don't trust that. Don't rely on that. The most trustworthy method, if you're given a table of values, is just to graph the thing and see if it forms a parabola. And now that you've learned to identify a parabola based on its visual features, you can just plot some points, um, plot the points that you have, and just look to see if it's a parabola. So let's just plot these points. Um, we'll try it. So this function, I don't have these numbers in, in a nice order like 1, 2, 3, 4 and I've got some negative numbers in here so I, I can't do my little trick so uh, we'll just plot the points and see if it looks like a parabola so 0, 1 so um, point uh, x is 0 y is 1 uh, 2, 3, 1, 2 1, 2, 3 uh, uh, if you're just given two points, by the way, you'll never be able to tell if, it, if it's a parabola. Um, you know, could be a straight line, could be, I don't know, yeah, it could be a straight line. So you need you need some more points than that. Uh, one, so four, nine, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nines off the charts here. Um, negative two, three. So one, two, one, two. Three and uh, negative four, nine. So one, two, three, four, and then nine. We decided it was somewhere up in here. So does that form a parabola? A parabola? Uh, yeah, it's connected points here like that. Let's make that blue. Let's say. Um, yeah. There's a there's a highest or lowest point. In this case, it's the lowest point, uh, the vertex. Uh, is it symmetrical? Is there an axis of symmetry here? If I flip this side over, would it line up with this side? Yeah, it would. So, and and both these ends are pointing in the same direction, off into infinity. In this case, positive infinity. So, yeah, we'd say. Uh, oops, I meant to do a check mark there. We'd say, yeah, that is a parabola. Now. Um, how much time do we have? You want let's, let's do one more real quick. Um, I'll just give you a hint. This is not a parabola, but let me show you how. You just plot the points: zero, zero, uh, one, one, uh, two, and one and a half, uh, three, two, uh, negative one, negative one. And negative two, negative one and a half, negative three, negative eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So uh, if we were to connect these guys, uh, you know, I don't know, something like that. Put that in red. Watch out, it's not a parabola. Um, yeah, we don't have both ends pointing in the same direction. We don't have a highest or lowest point. We don't have an axis of symmetry. So we'd say, uh, no, not a parabola. Still a cool function, I'm sure. I'm sure it's totally nice, but not a parabola.